I grew up wanting to be just like my dad, to fight for what is right as a police officer. But after a tragedy and a major health setback, I began to lose my grip on life. I just couldn't hold on anymore. Only one person could turn this around. My name is Linda and I am 31 years old. Seven years ago, I had my appendix removed, but not long after my surgery, I became extremely sick. I've had constant pain in my body since. One year earlier, Linda and her family experienced a difficult tragedy when her father passed away after battling with an illness. And as Linda was grieving her loss, she also had severe pain in her body that would not go away. My father was a police officer and he inspired me to join the police force. But life has been very challenging since my father died a year ago. I've had no choice but to support my family as my younger siblings are still in school and need caring for. This has not been easy, especially since the pain I've had since after my appendix surgery. I've taken my concerns to the doctor numerous times, but I've yet to receive a proper diagnosis. I've relied on painkillers and spent money on consultations and injections, but to no avail. The doctor recommended that I be admitted in the hospital for observation. Linda enjoys working and assisting people in the community, but the pain she endured just made it impossible for her to accomplish her daily duties. It was very frustrating. I kept praying to God to help me find healing. I was just too young to live a life like this. And I began to see there was no way out. Life became very stressful at this point. God was in Jesus Christ and he reconciled the whole world to himself. I heard about the Friendship Festival on Jayapur's main TV station. I was encouraged by my mother and siblings to attend. I was really trusting God for a miracle. We took a taxi to the venue and because I was in so much pain, my mother assisted me to the field. You're sitting down because you cannot stand good. Get ready to get up. Jesus will help you. In the name of Jesus, I speak to every paralysis. I speak to lameness and every spirit of infirmity. In the name of Jesus, come out! As I joined in the prayer, I heard a voice telling me to stand up and walk around. Initially, I hesitated, but as I took a few steps forward, I started feeling unusual strength taking over my body. This was an amazing feeling that I had never experienced before. Tell the story what Jesus has done. Seven years. Come on, walk right now. Look at that. Come on, run back here. Today, I'm feeling very strong and energized. I did a few household chores, which over the past seven years were very difficult for me to do. My mother was very pleased and thankful to see me in this renewed state. For a while now, my prayer has been to see my daughter back to her usual self, and I am blessed that God has restored her. My healing has renewed my body, but it has also removed a huge burden off of the entire family. I'm looking forward to going back to work in the days ahead. Thank you partners of World Impact Ministries for all that you did to bring the gospel to Jayapura. But it doesn't stop here. There are still millions of people that have never heard the name of Jesus. Please continue to do what you can. Your gift continues to spread the gospel to the unreached nations of the world.